Hey guys, I'm Katie and this is my husband Leo and we are standing right now in our RV park in Rockport, Texas. And we are on a journey together with our three RV parks. So we have one RV park in Rockport, Texas, where we are right now. We have one RV park in Freeport, Texas, and another one in Vicksburg, Mississippi. Even though this isn't the first park that we bought, we're gonna take you on a tour of this park right now. One, because I think that it's actually the most unique park that we have, and two, because we're here. <laughs> yeah, we. this is actually our home base, and this is a beautiful park. Yeah. And this park is interesting because it serves both like tourists, it serves workers that live and work in the area, it also serves people that leave around but they leave their trailers here and come over the weekend because it's beautiful and you have a beautiful pond you have many you have four ponds actually yeah now this yeah. was a really good find when we found this park i can't believe that it was still available but it has so much to offer it has you know almost a mile of walking trails it has three large you know fishing ponds we have catfish we have perch we have bass and it's just such a relaxing place yeah so if you like this kind of content please like and subscribe follow along on our journey and if you have a specific topic that you'd like us to cover go ahead and comment in the comments below and we will cover it hey guys it's katie it's leo and we're doing katie at coley's today and very exciting we're actually going to give you a full park tour of big fish which is we're standing outside our house at big fish right now so okay so this is the entrance to the park and when you come in i think that you get just like a really good first impression um first off like you get just the pond and just how pretty and serene it is there but then also we have kind of like trees nestled back in here and you really just get the feeling that you're completely in nature what i would like to do is bring you just to see all of the site. I want to show you just how big the site is. They have so much room. They have even like they have little grasses in their area. They have this whole area out here. They have a pad where they have all their picnic tables, all that stuff. Um, and so they just have everything going on there and they actually are so nice. They like host like entire campground boils and do all the fun stuff. So tons of room for them. And actually, honestly, all of the spots are pretty much like that. So let's go and get to the park. So we are at one of the only areas that has free spots available right now. Um, so uh, especially like when you're in flux from the summer to the winter, you'll get a lot of people changing out. So these spots are awaiting the winter Texans who are coming. So as you can see, we have like the rear hookups um, for sewer, for water, and for electric. These are pretty standard. These ones are metered, which is again, pretty standard. But as you can see, the pads are actually quite lengthy. So the road for reference is actually out here. Um, so even though that pad might stop, you can actually park even further out here. Um, so just to give you kind of an idea of how long the pads are, uh, of course they vary a little bit just because this park is a little bit funky and they put it in to preserve like the trees and stuff. But here you can see these guys have like a 40 foot RV. Their RV fits, then the car fits, and then they actually, as long as they go diagonally, their truck also fits. If they parked uh, next to each other, they could also do that. But that's like kind of just how roomy the spots are. And then something that I think is really special is how far out it goes in the back. So it's not like you're back to back with campers. Actually in the back is where all of our walking trails are, which you'll see in a minute. So we have Frisbee Golf, we have... Cornhole, Horseshoe, and we have Giant Jenga too. But something that I think is really nice is that the the frisbee golf that we have is actually connected to our walking trails so as you can see like the trailhead is actually there then it continues on behind us and to this side of us as well so lots of that and then people love playing you can go pretty far oh oh you're also five feet away from it I, more than five feet so you can go really far to hit it because right here 
and then you can go all you can go all the way over there if you want to. Let's see how Katie does. So next up is the walking trails. We actually have a lot of land. We're sitting on 42 acres and most of it is just not developed. We are putting new sites and we are adding some amenities, but we're gonna keep most of it untouched to keep all this nature feel. We, we really don't want our parks to look like parking lots and we wanna preserve the nature feel that we have right now. So we're gonna, let's do the walking trails and then we're gonna show you guys the pond. We actually have over a mile, um, but the loop is just under. And something that I find really amazing is, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm feeling so peaceful, but actually the RVs are right there. And I think that really speaks to the nature feel that we really want to honor and go for in this park and something that I think is really special. It is worth note is that I literally go on these trails all the time. There's such a good mental health walk. Do you like this walk? Yeah, honestly, you can just sit here and... Yeah, you guys have to see our view right now. But it is really just so perfect, like so embedded in nature. And we're literally in the city Rockport limits, which is something that is just really crazy to me. You're so close to Aransas Pass, Rockport, and in like five, ten minutes you have so many restaurants. But at the same time, you just like... Yeah, like completely embedded in nature. Oh, the birds are singing. Sometimes I, I'm just like, I can't believe that this is our house. This is our home, you know? Yeah. Oh, it is really nice. So we'll show you a little bit, rest the rest of the trails. We'll show you some of the ponds and everything. And let's, let's continue on. So we just continued on our walk. Um, and we ended up at this pond, which is my personal favorite pond and i'll show you the trailhead that it comes out of so this pond is a little under an acre i believe and this one is fantastic we use it for paddle boarding the kids go kayaking in it um, we do all of the fun stuff of course if you're under 18 you have to have a life vest on because we follow the rules here but it is such a good pond like they have all of the fish there's some catfish in here there's some perch I think there's also some bass in here as well um, and you can just see the levels are pretty high and we even have whoo I almost fell into a hole uh, we even have our little floating deck here it is really like so relaxing I love being in the ponds and even just like sitting out and enjoying the ponds i think is really fantastic i love i love the view i it's so beautiful i think this is just like something that really sorry that really caught <laughs> it's something that really sets the park uh apart you Let's gotta enjoy the view okay oh it is so nice Okay, so we're at the main fishing pond right now. This is the one that has like the 75 pound catfish, several 50 pound catfish, and then a bunch of other small. So cute. So this pond has bass, perch, catfish. Um, we let, during certain times, we let people catch and eat them, um, unless they catch like a really big catfish. So, looking here, we can see the pond and oh yeah there's a grill what's nice about the pond is that we have like some community areas so we have a little fire pit and then we also have um this grill for the people so oh it's heavy but as you can see we have like a very basic cooking area for everybody so you can cook and just hang out and then we also have a fishing dock which is there <laughs> is that we actually have these storage sheds so here you can see 
that we have storage for people. You know, tiny living isn't always that tiny, so it's really convenient that if you live here, you can actually just go here and uh, use the sheds. Down here, this is kind of like the manager area, I guess. So obviously we have our house, and then we have um, Keith and Danelle's right here. So this is their cute little setup. And then over here, we have our barn. So um, right here, this is our like deer corn feeder. We're not using it right now because sometimes hogs knock it down. Here we have our beautiful John Deere tractor. As you know, it's the creme de la creme of tractors. And here you can see we have just kind of like a little workstation and coming around over here, we have just like another workstation where we do like some of the plumbing stuff. We keep um, some of our supplies here. We try to stay organized right there. Um, and then of course we have the zero turn, which is one of the most important things about this park. So we have games at the park and some of them are around the park and this is the cornhole, but it's wheelie style cornhole. So this one has big fish because we have big catfish in the pond. And maybe you can see Quilly over there. And my favorite thing in the entire place, that's my paddleboard. One of my favorite things is that when we got this park, it came with five cats, <laughs> <laughs> right? So we actually have five cats. They live around the barn and we feed them and we keep them alive basically and if you're a city folk and you're kind of iffy about the fact of having barn cats let me tell you what it's great for them they live outside they explore they're always around they hunt for mice uh, and we treat them well and the good thing is that the other day we actually got a gift from one of them right they bought a gopher a mole. No. they brought a mole to our porch and just left in front of our door which if you're not a cat person it sounds kind of gross but this is actually because they like and appreciate what you're doing for them all right guys we're out filming doing the park tour and we have found a wild key in his natural habitat we're rushing towards him <laughs> Official introduction to our park managers. <laughs> they do literally everything around here. So this is Keith. How y'all doing? And this is Danelle. Hello. And they literally, yeah, I can't tell you, they're such a godsend. So if you guys ever come to the park, they're gonna direct you to where you go. If you have any problems, they're pretty much on call 24 <laughs> seven, even though I tell them they don't have to be. Um, they do everything for the park. Keith is a wild man and <laughs> works all the time, even when I'm trying to tell him not to, so. This is their RV. They live here full time. And, and you guys have lived for how long full time? Two years? Three years. Three years. Three years full time. Three years yes. full time. Love it. And how long have you guys been in Rock Park? Since July 15th. July, July. August, September, October. And three months. Love yeah, it down just here. over three months. Thought we lived together a quarter. Yeah, love and the Keith weather, says we're not love going the beach. anywhere. Yeah. Would Sorry. you recommend it? To oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Most yeah. definitely. <laughs> this park is fantastic. I mean, it's got the nature. You got nature. You got ponds to fish in. You got people. I mean, everybody here. We get together once a month, do a cookout. It's fantastic. We love it. Yeah, we actually just had a chili cook-off championship. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. It was really fun. It and was Danelle good. even wood burned some trophies. It was really cool. Yeah. All say bye. The Quillies family. Yeah, the Quillies family. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. We hope that you enjoyed our park tour. Like, subscribe, do all the things, and comment down below what's your favorite part of the park. All right, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.